Fear, Perseus Bandit, Extreme Difficulty Walkthrough with Boosters and Intel for ArmageddonGaming.com. This is Interval 7, Wahoo. Clone Production, Part 2. I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, we'll go with Pretty that. Sure. Okay, so this is an annoying section. Um, it's very difficult. Uh, if you have turrets, throw them in high places that can't be easily shot. Um, I've got turrets in all the high places. I know what they want, and I know they don't want me to die. If you have um, proximity mines, throw them out there. Um, you're going to fight a bunch of Nightcrawler commanders. Which means that they're going to be tossing turrets around like crazy, throwing grenades, being jerk-offs. One of them, I believe, has the uh, MP50 the repeating cannon, which I actu actually am holding right now. Uh, which is a decent weapon what to use against thing? them. It's just no boom. Yeah. Um, that guy sounded creepy. They are just going to be coming at you non-stop. Uh, try not to advance too far into the room because you're going to use these large uh, cylinder looking things for cover. You can see this asshole just threw a turret at me. Um, no, you didn't throw a turret. One of them has the grenade launcher. He's the one you really want to avoid the most. Yeah, fuck one that guy. One of them guy. has lasers. As you can see, they've pretty much got all the power weapons. Right. I'm pretty sure they couch. also call you a fuck at the start of this and that they want to end you. Now, those guys have potty mouth. There's, uh, armor and health pickups in the back of this room, but I don't recommend picking them up because you're going to want to pick them up after this confrontation so that way at the start of the next level uh, you won't be in really bad shape because if you pick it all up now and use it now you're going to be screwed come the end of the last level. Which is no. the next level by the way. No. Yeah, so this asshole's throwing a turret at me. Uh, just keep it up. The what I found during this sequence is, I know it's, it sounds really obvious, but the longer you can survive with these guys, the better your chances to take them out are, and I know obvious statement is obvious. Obviously. The longer, all you really want to do is live as long as possible, because that means you're at least hurting them. The problem with these guys is that you can't really tell sometimes if you're hitting them or not, because they don't always bleed. But if you're putting a couple shots into them and you start seeing the blood sounds coming out, that means you're, you're really getting there. Sounds pretty emo, Brian. Yeah, I know. Oh, they don't always bleed. Uh, you gotta go pretty deep to bleed. Not always. This friggin' guy almost ended me right there. Oh, as you can see, not doing so hot. This is a really, really tough room. Well, that's a phone. Sam texting me saying, yo, what's up? Yeah. All right, so I decided to make a move back here um, just to pick up something, anything. It also gave me a better line of sight on that upper uh, area where he was. And just so happened, I kind of got lucky. He jumped down, and he jumped down straight at me, so it was like a direct line to shoot him. And that's pretty much all this video is. Just this one really long, difficult confrontation. Yeah, we're almost done. So, my uh, my. loot this room. Make sure you check all the garbage cans for all the stuff that might be in it. And pick up all the weapons and armor and everything. And see you in the next video, which is the last level, but it's in two parts. Whoa!
Did I tell you about my brother? <laughs> you remind me of him. I didn't like him either. <laughs> I never met my brother until the day he killed me. Complicated family. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> <laughs>